Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Now if you watch my videos, you know I do a lot of product reviews and I recently purchased a, uh, a MacBook. Now this is the MacBook Air. I was torn between the, uh, the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro and a few months after the fact, and I feel that a follow-up review is more important than the initial review, so I'm posting this review a few months, or a few weeks rather, after purchasing and using this uh, MacBook Air 13 inch and I just wanted to point out the pros and cons and things that I would do differently if I was making this purchase a second time. So, first of all, I'm super satisfied I went with the 13 inch MacBook Air. The 11 inch MacBook Air not only would have felt too small for me, but the 11 inch MacBook Air does not have your SD card slot. Now that SD card slot is super important and it's something you don't really think about when you're purchasing. But what the SD card slot can do, it can function as additional storage. You can actually get an SDXC card to function as, as additional, uh, in essence, hard drive space in here. So don't think of SD card as strictly a, uh, a port to plug your camera and or video camera into for syncing content, but it can also be utilized as storage. So that's a big selling point. I would, I would not go 11 inch. I'm glad I went 13 inch. Things I like about the MacBook Air, this of course been the 2012 Ivy Bridge model. Obviously it's thinness, it's very thin, very lightweight, very easy to throw into a bag and take out in the field. Uh, it's got uh, USB 3.0 because it's Ivy Bridge. It's got Thunderbolt because it's Ivy Bridge. Something else you don't realize about Thunderbolt port, you can actually get, if you have an iMac desktop, you can get what's referred to as a mini display port cable. It'll stick into your Thunderbolt port, put the other end in your iMac Thunderbolt port, and even if it's an old 2009 iMac, it'll still work with the display port cable. It's the same plug, so you can, in essence, and what I do, I use my 2009 model iMac as a secondary display for this MacBook Air. So that's a really cool feature. Of course, on the other side, you've got your uh, USB 3.0 port as well, and your MagSafe charger. You don't have an optical drive, but optical drives are a thing of the past. How many, when's the last time you burned a CD or a DVD? If you need it, plug in an external drive. But I'm glad they didn't put it in it because when you're in the field, that's just extra weight and something you don't need and extra cost. Uh, something else I like about the MacBook Air, the, uh, the screen is nice. I did not go with the Retina, which I don't really care. I don't need the Retina. This LED backlit display is plenty good for me and I'm glad I got it. I like the illuminated keys. When you're, when you're in low light situations, these keys are able to be seen. And the trackpad is very, uh, you know, it supports your gestures and all of that. You feel like you're using an iPad or an iPhone. Just a super, super comfortable typing layout for such a small laptop. Place, rest your hand there and there. Um, super, super impressed. The camera on it, the built-in camera at the top, FaceTime camera, high quality. Couldn't be happier with this purchase. Now, uh, with me saying I couldn't be happier with this purchase, what would I do differently if I was purchasing a new laptop? Well, I actually, and I, and I hate to say there's nothing I would do differently, but I feel like I equipped it perfectly because I got the 128 gig SSD. I feel like I got the best bang for my buck there. Uh, it's plenty of room for the operating system. And even after installing all of my applications, Final Cut Pro 10. Motion 5, and some uh, a few small photo editing apps. I've still got well over 80 gigs of uh, disk space available in the SSD. Now keep in mind, when you're at home, you can plug in a USB 3.0 or Thunderbolt drive and get plenty of external storage. When you're in the field, you can plug in an SDXC card or lower capacity card. It could be an SDHC and get additional storage while you're in the field. So for me, making quick edits in the field Wanted to have access to, uh, to my photo editing app and my video editing app. This is fantastic. Couldn't be happier with the decision I made. And yes, Apple is more expensive. You can build a PC for a fraction of the cost, blah, blah, blah. This isn't a PC versus Mac video. This is a video for someone that's a Mac user that they depend heavily upon 
Apple's video editing products and image editing products to conduct their business and that's what I do and this laptop could, could not be better. Sure the processor and, and that's one thing I want to point out I did go with 8 gigs I maxed out the memory in this 2012 MacBook Air I would definitely do that again 8 gigs is fine for me it does fine with video editing and uh, I mean really I mean it's just a really sweet deal now initially I put it in a case protective skin I got off of Amazon but I found out that I like the body of this so much the thinness that with the extra case on it, it just added bulk and I, I just like this thing like it is if it gets scratched up when it's in the field who cares I mean I'm not going to intentionally abuse this laptop but I mean I got it to to be productive with and it does it does a really good job of video editing the edits in Final Cut Pro are super slick because they're uh, because of the SSD solid state hard drive that's in here now where you will notice a difference because this is only an i5 like on my desktop iMac that's an i7 a quad core actually eight if you count the hyper threads when you're actually compressing your video you're gonna notice that this is slower but I mean then again I mean this is plenty fast and for most people if unless you're a hardcore video content producer like I am I produce hundreds of hundreds of videos a month so I'm, I'm always compressing something for me this is fine but I wouldn't use this as my only computer being a video editing professional but for for most everyone else maybe you make a few YouTube videos a week this is a rock-solid deal right here and I don't really see the reason to go to the uh, MacBook Pro line but just wanted to share this follow-up review and as always feel free to share this video with others I post these reviews with the hopes of uh, helping others make their uh, purchase decisions. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see if I've got an answer. Like I said, I've been using this for a few weeks. I've been using Apple products though uh, since the uh, since right when Mac OS X first came out because I didn't convert to Apple until uh, they had the Unix-based operating system. I wasn't a fan of their old operating system. But anyway, uh, feel free to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash guy. Y'all have a good day.